What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the six skills you need in order to become a data scientist and also provide some practical examples. By the way, if you're new to my channel and you're passionate about data science, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel as I will be uploading regularly data science informative videos and data science tutorials. Starting with the data scientist job description, the data scientist job is to analyze data sets using a variety of tools and sophisticated techniques in order to solve business problems and generate actionable insights for the business that will later on add value to the business and make an impact. This impact now can be in the forms of new insights, new automated reporting, automated predictive analytics, automated decision making, new data applications, data projects, and business recommendations. In order to achieve all this now, you have to have certain skills. And starting with the most important skill is problem solving skills, as your job is actually to solve business problems. Now, the reason why this is important is because in the data science world, no problem is the same and no solution is the same either. And there is no rules or a guide to follow when it comes to solving data problems. You're going to have to come up with your own way of solving the problem. Methodical thinking is actually going to help you a lot when solving problems, just because some problems you want to be solving might be rule based models or custom made models. So you're going to have to come up with your own methodology of solving the problem. By the way, I keep referring to this sheet over here, which explains what does a data scientist do. I'm going to have links in the description of my previous videos, which is about what is data science, the data science team structure, what do data scientists do, the time span, the skills, the tools, etc., etc. So you can go and check them out. Right. Back to the problem solving skills. The next thing you have to have is that you have to solve the problem efficiently. So you will only have access to specific tools and resources. So you're going to have to use them very efficient in order to solve the problem effective. So effective is actually solving the problem to a hundred percent and not just solving some of the problem. The next skill you have to have as a data scientist is technical skills and programming skills, which is actually one of the main disciplines that define data science as a whole. The first software you need to have knowledge is Excel skills for dashboards and ad hocs. Now, whether you like it or not, as a data scientist, you are probably going to be using Excel every single day just because everyone else in the organization outside of the data team is going to be using Excel and they are quite comfortable in using Excel. The next software you need to know is SQL or SQL like for databases. And this is because all the data of the organization is going to sit in databases and you're going to need a language to query that raw data. And that language is probably going to be SQL. The next software you need to know is Python and R for statistical analysis. So when it comes to running machine learning or more like complex models and calculations that SQL cannot perform and you're going to need a statistical tool or a stronger tool than SQL, you're going to have to know how to use Python and R. Moving on, you're going to have to have knowledge of visualization tools like Power BI, Tableau, Click, etc., etc., just because these are the tools that you're going to be using to share your models or your insights as a data scientist. Additionally, you're going to have to have knowledge of cloud tools like Azure, AWS, and GCP, just because all organizations now are moving their data from on-prem solutions into cloud solutions. And you're going to have to know how to connect to those cloud solutions, where the data is saved, how to move data, how to run your analysis, and how to deploy your models into those cloud tools. Lastly, you might need to have knowledge of APIs and frameworks like Spark, TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, etc., etc., because you might have to run some big data analytics and big data machine learning models. The next skill you need to have as a data scientist is data analytics skills, which again is one of the main pillars or disciplines that define data science as a whole. 
Here, you will need to have knowledge of maths and statistics for data analysis. You will need to know how to manage a database, how to create dashboards from scratch, how to visualize data and how to analyze different key principle indicators. You will have to have knowledge of data mining, cleaning, transforming and storing the data. You will have to have knowledge of descriptive, diagnostic, predictive and prescriptive analytics. You will need to be an ace in the machine learning process and also know a lot of different machine learning algorithms and how they work. If you want to know more about the machine learning process, I have actually two tutorials in Python that I go through all the steps that the machine learning process has and actually all the tasks within each step and I actually apply them. I'm going to have the links in the description. One of the tutorials is a logistic regression and the other one is a linear regression model. And the last point I have going back is that if your analysis involves audio, video, uh, image or generally object recognition, then you will have to have deep learning knowledge. The next skill you need as a data scientist is communication skills. So here is where you have to clearly communicate your results and recommendations back to the business. You have to be able to tell a story out of your data. Actually, communication skills are going to help you a lot when it comes to the problem formulation phase. So speaking with different people in the business to understand the problem is going to help you a lot in this step over here where you're sharing your model with the business and trying to get their thoughts, their feedback. It's going to help you even more in step number eight, which is trying to convince them and educate them how to use your model um, in the business. Additionally, you will have to be able to explain technical concepts to non-technical people. This is actually very challenging from my experience because uh, you need to be able to convince the business that your model, your machine learning model is actually going to add value if they start using it. And because they are not technical, they, you're going to find it a bit challenging to convince them and explain them how technical concepts work in their line of business. Right. The next skill we have over here is critical thinking. So here is where you have to be critical on your analysis. You have to challenge every existing solution. If there is a better way of doing it, you have to challenge what everyone is saying. See if they have any motives and they're suggesting things to be done in their way. Also, you need to challenge yourself too. And this is a critical one, just because we often think that our solution is the best, but we have to be like, oh, wait a minute. What if uh, my solution is not the best? What if there is a better way of doing things? What if there is a cheaper way of doing things, etc., etc. The last point I have is that you actually need to gain a deep understanding of the underlying cause of the problem if you actually want to be critical about solving this problem. The last point we have is creativity, which is what makes good data scientists stand out in my opinion. Creativity is an art wherever you apply it and you have to get creative when solving problems just because all problems are different to each other, hence all solutions are going to be different to each other. You always have to challenge the norm and trying to create something new. You will need to find new ways of doing things as a data scientist with the overall aim of adding value to the business and actually making an impact. And some final notes I have over here is that what makes a good data scientist and the answer is its ability to turn data into valuable and actionable insights. Yeah, but how do we measure it? And the answer is by the impact that the solution of the data scientist is bringing to the business. Right, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of it. If you feel like you did, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications. Additionally, if you have any questions around the skills I have covered, please let me know in the comments below. If there is any other skills that you feel a data scientist should have, again, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you on the next video.